Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'm going to be taking you through how I paint uh, poison effects on weapons and to be honest I actually just came up with this this morning and I was pretty excited about it so I wanted to get on sharing this straight away. So I'm going to be starting with a base coat of Stegadon Scale Green from Citadel and as you can see it's really watered down, quite transparent. Um, generally when you're doing this sort of effect over particularly over metallics, you want it to be quite transparent um, as you don't want it to be sort of overwhelming if the color is too thick. So worst case scenario, uh, if you want it to be a bit darker, you can always do a second coat. And as you can see, just in a dabbing motion, just working my way around the weapon. And now I'm going to be moving on to Moot Green, again, from Citadel. This time not having the paint as watered down, but still relatively watered down. And again, still in a dabbing motion with not a lot of paint on the brush. And as you can see, also leaving some of the Stegadon scale green visible. And at this point, you can see the effect is already coming together quite nicely, but I do want to take it a step further and do a final highlight of Ariel or Uriel yellow. Uh, please correct me if I have the pronunciation wrong in the comments below. I think it's Uriel. Uriel yellow. But again by Citadel. And for this highlight, I'm really just trying to center the yellow within the moot green. And as you can see, I didn't want to edit too much out of this video. As for this particular effect, I wanted you to be able to see just the whole way through how I go about painting it. With the paints being quite watered down as well, 
you can, if you want to add a little bit more of the previous colors, you can always go back and add that to the weapon. But I was pretty happy with how it looks. And that is how I paint poisoned effects on my Oryx weapons. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. I'll have a tutorial coming up soon on how I painted the metallics as well using the scale 75, uh, the steel series. And I will see you in the next one.